Hey, welcome to the Nika Said Podcast. And if you're new here, I'm Nika Williams, a planner girl, mom to an eight-year-old husband, and a diehard Atlanta Falcons fan. At the end of 2016, I was happily fired from Amazon, which jumped off this online journey. After signing two clients within 10 days and booking out my services as a virtual assistant, I was thrown as the Facebook queen and Coach Nika was born. All that to say, I'm a virtual assistant and a VA coach helping women realize they don't have to choose between work and their family. You can have both. And if you're looking for financial freedom while also having family focus, this is the podcast for you. You'll learn how to grow a business that fits into your personal life and not the other way around. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of the Nika Said Podcast. Today I want to talk about the main three systems and routines I put in place in my virtual assistant business that helps me achieve consistent clients and cash flow. In the beginning stages of my business, when I was just a baby virtual assistant, I really didn't know what to do in my business on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis that would help me gain clients and hit my income goals. And honestly, Researching it didn't make it any better. Some people are saying, do this. Other people are saying, do that. And I was just overwhelmed because I was trying to do it all. I remember I tried blogging once a week, posting on social media three times per day, going live twice per week, and still engaging in Facebook groups daily and trying to source media appearance just to grow my audience. And at the end of the day, your girl felt burnt out, overwhelmed, and nothing to show for all the energy that I was putting out. So I said, scratch that. Threw that marketing strategy in the trash can where it belonged and start creating something that actually fit my needs, my interests, and my time. And I knew I needed something super simple that I could stick to on a daily and weekly basis. And content creation was going to be the main way that I can get in front of multiple people in the least amount of time. I asked myself, what is it serving me to post daily on my social media platforms when I was just building them up? And I only had 10 followers and most of them was family just supporting me. Or I could create valuable valuable content and share that inside of a Facebook group where my ideal clients already were. Which means more eyes on that piece of content and equals more chances that I'll be able to target my ideal client and convert them into paying customers. So of course it was a no brainer. I was gonna go with Facebook groups. And this was over six years ago and Facebook groups are still working to this day. But if you wanna use the same strategy on Instagram or with podcasts, Facebook lives or on TikTok, it's all the same. Go where your ideal client is, where there are already a group of people who need your services, share the valuable content of how you can help them, why you're the expert, and why working with you is the next step in their business. Now, don't be like me, be better than me. Pick only one to two platforms or communities that you'll hang out in consistently and start sharing educational and results-driven content to build your like, note, and trust factor. Okay. So we have our basis covered for attraction marketing through content creation, but that's a longer game because you just never know when someone will pop into your inbox, but there's a warmer way to find clients that are already ready to buy. They know they need help. They just don't know who can help them. Here's where your customized lead generation and pitching routine will fall so smoothly into place. You know how that puzzle piece fits easily together? Okay, so I can already hear you asking the question. How do we find people who are ready to buy, who know they need a virtual assistant, they just don't know where to find that perfect person? There are a number of different platforms where business owners will look for people to help them in their business, such as Upwork, Facebook groups, TikTok, comments, Indeed, LinkedIn, etc. You just need to pick the one that comes natural to you, that's easy for you, And this is based on whichever platform that you're already on. Definitely go with that one first and then add one more to be able to fill your cup quicker. Next, I like to set a goal of how many pitches I want to send out consistently per day. Instead of setting a goal or focusing on the goal of how many clients I will sign, um, being able to set a goal around pitching is something I can more easily control and track. 
So let's say, for instance, you're working on your business three days out of the week, then you need to be pitching in your business three days out of the week. You need to sell every single day some type of way in your business. I like to call these my money moves. So I'm generating income in my business or asking for the sale in my business every single day. And this is how you get comfortable with selling quickly. And lastly, this is for my girls who are serving five, 10 clients, but they still need to bring in more clients to hit their income goal, take their business to the next level and just scale their business. So how do you maintain attracting new clients, finding new clients, while also serving the clients that you have at the top tier that you're already doing? And that's where a client management system come into place. This will help you serve your clients on autopilot without losing your connection, your worth, and your ethic, or watering down your services. The first thing you want to do is check in with your clients every single day. Sometimes this is through Slack or email, or it could just be checking your project management system just to check the pulse of their business and your tasks. And if you don't have a project management system, no matter how many clients you have, even if you're only managing yourself, then I need you to stop this podcast and go set one up right now. Click up Asana, Trello, whatever fits your needs, whatever fits your style. You just need to have one because it's going to make it so much easier when you're managing multiple clients to be able to keep up with what's going on in three to six different businesses, but also attract the sign more clients in your own business. Set up notifications, automations, email alerts within that project management system. It's going to be the best way to keep you on top of what you need to complete each day. And another thing I really like to do is to get ahead on my on my list, especially of the repetitive tasks in my clients' businesses. So if you offer social media management, website maintenance, anything that you can batch in bulk, I like to do that because if emergencies come up, If you need to spend more time pitching, if you need to spend more time creating content, then you'll already be ahead of the game. Another thing is if you're running short on time and you're attracting and signing more clients daily, then it may be time for you to go ahead and hire your first team member for your own business just to keep up with your performance level and avoid burnout. And to give you a gist of my weekly time investment in these three areas in my business, Of course, lead generation and pitching is done daily, client management is done daily, and content creation is done at least twice a week in my business. So it doesn't have to take a lot of time for you to grow, maintain, and scale your business. You just have to keep at it every single day. Go ahead and pop over to Instagram and DM me at Coach Nika, and let me know which one of these systems and routines do you need to implement in your business to gain the results that you want to end the year strong. Thanks for listening and make sure you subscribe to the podcast, pop over to YouTube and follow me there at Nika Williams and come back next week for another episode of the Nika Said Podcast. Keep working y'all. so much for joining me today and make sure you check back next week for another amazing episode with actionable tips to grow your online business in the meantime leave a review and let me know your thoughts on today's episode and if you want to see what i'm up to check out my instagram page at coach nika come hang out with other women on the same journey in the private free facebook group the virtual assistant club and remember every day you're a one step closer to the dream life you want keep going girlfriend